In this video, we're going to go a little more in depth with the drawing panel and graphics. So, in your lesson 3 folder, which I've already set up, we're going to add a new class. And this new class, we're going to call Shapes. And hit Finish. We need to get the drawing panel inside this lesson folder because we're going to use it. So, go into your lesson 2 folder, go down into your default package, and just copy the drawing panel, and then click the Lesson 3 folder. You can go ahead and close the Lesson 2 folder. Click the Lesson 3 folder and hit Paste. And it's going to paste that drawing panel into the folder for you. In this program we're doing today, we're going to use the same basic structure as the previous video. So let's go back into Lesson 2 and open up our last video example. Expand everything out and just copy this. Close it out, and we're going to paste it into our new class. Now there's a few things we're going to have to change. First of all, this is now Lesson 3. And our file name is going to be different. We named this Shapes, so this is going to be shapes.java. And public class is not welcome to. The public class is what we named it, Shapes. And instead of this program displaying a message, this program will display shapes in the drawing panel. Our drawing panel named panel is set up. Instead of it being 600 by 600, we're going to do 700 by 700. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We still want G to be our variable to add stuff into the panel. So we'll leave that, but we're not in need of this font and this color in the string. So go ahead and exit out of that. So now when we run this program, we're going to have a blank slate, a blank drawing panel. And remember, 0, 0 is in the left-hand corner. Your x values grow as you move to the right, and your y values get larger as you move down. We're going to start by drawing a rectangle. So g dot draw rect, which stands for rectangle. And now there's going to be four arguments your x-coordinate, y-coordinate, width, and height. So I don't want this to fill the whole box, so let's start it at 100, 100. So it's going to be 100 over to the right, and 100 down, and the width is going to be, let's do 200 by 300. After that, you're gonna add a semicolon and press the Run button. You can see we have a rectangle. The upper left-hand corner of the rectangle is the coordinates we entered in. So that's going to be 100, 100. And then from there, it goes 200 as its width. So this coordinate is going to be 300 in the x because we added 200 and still 100 in the y. And then it goes down 300 like we specified. So this corner in the right-hand side is going to be 300, 400. So instead of just having a plain drawn rectangle, we're going to have a rectangle that's filled in. So we're going to do g dot fill rect. And let's do the same coordinate. So this is going to be 100, 100, 200, and 300. Finish it off with a semicolon and let's go ahead and run this program. Now you can see it's filled in, but it's filled in black. If we wanted to change the color to something else, we would need to set the color before the rectangle is drawn. Remember, as the compiler reads this, it's going down. So it's recognizing the panel, assigning the graphics, drawing the first rectangle, which is now covered up by the second rectangle. So let's go ahead and set the color before we fill the rectangle in. So G dot set color like we did with the font. And we're going to do a new color. And let's make this color red. So 255, 0, 0, and then a semicolon after the two parentheses. And we don't need this rectangle drawn anymore, so let's just go ahead and get that to clean up our code. Let's go ahead and run that program. Now we have our red rectangle. But let's say we wanted to draw a circle or an oval. Well, J 
just like g dot fill instead of rectangle for rect it's going to be oval let's go ahead and play that the starting point for the oval we specified as 100 100 100 100 is right about here so if you were to imagine a rectangle with the width of 200 and length of 300 this oval would touch the edges of that so let's add a rectangle back in so we can see that visually. We want the rectangle to be underneath the oval. Think of stacking the shapes on top of one another. So we want the oval to be on top. So we have to put the rectangle underneath, which is technically before that. And we want the rectangle to be a different color than the oval. So we're gonna set the color for the oval and we need to set a color for the rectangle. So we're gonna do G dot fill rec and we're going to do the same exact coordinates as the oval so we can go ahead and cut and copy that and we want this to be a different color but if you could tell when we first started it was just black black is the default color the default color is zero 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 so technically we don't have to do anything to see the difference now let's go ahead and run the program and you can see we have the black rectangle with the red oval over top of it. Remember, we enter the same coordinates for both. So you can see that this oval is going to touch the outer edges of the rectangle, but it's not going to go past them. Let's draw one more thing. Let's draw a line that goes from the upper left-hand corner of the rectangle over top of the oval and to the bottom right-hand corner of the rectangle. And I want this to be blue. So we're going to do G dot set the color. We're setting the color to something new. So it's going to be a new color. And we're going to make it blue. So that's going to be 0 for red, 0 for green, and 255 for blue because 255 is the max. And we're going to draw the line. So that's G dot draw line. For the line, you're going to have the starting coordinate and the ending coordinate that the line starts and finishes at. So we want it to start at the upper right hand corner of the rectangle. So that's going to be the point 100, 100. So x1 is 100 and y1 is 100. Now we're going to work on our x2 and y2 values. If we wanted to go diagonal through the rectangle to the bottom, that point is going to be 100 plus the 200 in the x, which will give us 300. So now we're on the right side of the rectangle, but now we have to go to the bottom, which would be the 100 plus 300, which is 400. Let's go ahead and run this. And now you can see. We have the black rectangle underneath, the red oval in the middle, and the blue line on top. 